All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. Well, this is it. Our tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, Thailand. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of six wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, El Tigre. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Ben Bergliasso. Are you ready? You ready? All right, ready to go with live UFC action. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Well, his UFC debut essentially went exactly as well. He is taking a beating. Do oh, you he's out. It. It's over. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Check it out here. Crank right on the jaw. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Heiner! So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight, and he has set himself up for a huge fight now moving forward inside the octagon.
Coming up next, a UFC flyweight division matchup. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the corner. A kickboxer, holy professional record are five wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, five times. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of four wins, two losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, international. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready to fight. Ready. Well, it's a building rich in its fight history and tradition. We are at Madison Square Garden tonight, and we are underway here in New York City. Well, it's good to see this man back inside the octagon. Round one getting underway here. As many of you know, he won his last fight by blistering knockout. His popularity has absolutely soared since. So with momentum tonight, he'll try to keep the winning streak and the knockout streak still intact. Very good defense on display here, very good blocks. All right, so here we go with round one, and you gotta be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know it's a big part of his game plan every time out. It's his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it here tonight. Tags him, that one hurt. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. And he lands it to the leg. Good defense there. Tagged him. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You gotta get that head off the center line. All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. Oh! Trying to get a single. Sweet. Now he's in full guard. He got tagged there. Posture's up now. Huge elbow from the top. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Back to the feet now. Oh, man. He's hurt bad. This could be it. Oh, he might be out. Connects with the punch. Wow! No! What an exchange here. Oh, very nice. Caught him with a punch. Well, there is his patented overhand, and now his opponent is forced to adjust. He landed it beautifully there. Plenty more seemingly where that came from. Nice inside leg kick. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Another nice kick. Very solid. How about that chin? Oh, another one! He's got him hurt here. Body kick, look at that. Oh, he missed that kick. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Nice. Round two winding down. Stop, stop, stop. And there's a nice head kick that lands. And here's another head kick. And here's one more perfectly placed head kick. Very impressive striking going on in that. 
All right, let's get to round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Look at that. Nice. That was a decent leg kick. Hard one to the body. Oh! He is hurt. Oh, very nice. Huge uppercut misses. Oh! Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because oh. his stamina is low. He's in trouble right now. Kick right under that right elbow. You can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. He is going after it here. Leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit, Joe. Spinning back fist. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big left hand lands upstairs. moving right into his opponent's striking range. Oh! Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. And lands a good shot. Oh, he's tagging! He's got him right here. Oh, he's stunned again! Oh, we heard him again. Victory right as the round was ending. Wow, so just when his opponent maybe was trying to turn the page to the next round, he gets caught with that huge shot, goes down, and the referee wisely jumps in to stop the fight. So that'll do it. Beautiful technique there on the fight ending blow, and maybe he caught his opponent off guard a little bit, Joe. Check it out again. Boom! And that's all she wrote. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by knockout final. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.